I know I've spoken to you about this at length, but one thing I worry about not appearing on the thumbnails, me personally not appearing on the mm -hmm. thumbnails, is that when I do appear on camera, it upsets the viewer's expectation of, of what is going to happen in this video. Um, now, the, you can see the one where I did appear in the thumbnail is the lowest views out of all my recent videos. Mm -hmm. That I knew is not... That video, I would say, is just for the community, not, not a definite banger, um, because it's just me answering a, a child's archaeology questions. I knew that that video would not get big views. And, and so that's why I made the thumbnail myself, which is why it's rubbish. But um, yeah, that was just a, a promise, fulfilling a promise to a child back in our hometown. But it's still got 100,000 views, you know, it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, I wonder, because I don't appear in my thumbnails, if when I do appear on camera, it's upsetting the viewer's expectation. So now when I'm introducing the topic in that first 30 seconds of the video, I sh make sure to show myself on camera, not even talking into the microphone, but just showing myself like researching, showing myself talking to the people I'm interviewing with no audio, but just so the viewer realizes quite quickly that, oh, this is the guy who's going to appear in the video. So that when I do fully appear and I'm talking on camera like this, it's not a shock to them. Do you know what I'm saying? Interesting. Yeah. Or you're building up to you fully being on camera. Yeah, because I think in, in older videos, older videos, I did a video on Homo erectus, and it's like, the views are going good, the views are going good, and it gets to like 2 minutes 20 or whatever, and it just goes, boop, drops. The retention drops. You go to what happened on camera at 2 minutes 20, it was the first appearance of this mug. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so... And so... This year, hopefully moving forward, I'm going to be changing my thumbnail strategy to, to, for me to appear in them. Mm -hmm. So I'm setting that expectation when they click on the video. But even if I'm not appearing in the thumbnail, when I'm doing the introduction, I'm trying to subtly set the expectation that I'm going to appear on camera. Gotcha. Because, yeah, because a lot of educational YouTube, you know, like Wendover Productions or something, the person never appears on camera. There, there's a lot of anonymous educational YouTube channels. Not Wendover's not anonymous. People that know Sam Wendover, but there's a lot of people that create educational videos who never appear on camera. There's just this voice of God giving people information. And that's not what I do. So I need to set that expectation. Mm -hmm. Needs to be some alignment between what people, the information people are presented with when they click on your video to what they see once the video starts playing. I think so. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that from other YouTubers too. I think that's a, a popular theory for sure. Yeah. I mean, one guy who does this great, who does a lot of this stuff really well, is um, Johnny Harris. Um, his thumbnails will always include him, regardless of the topic. So if you, yeah, I mean, if you scroll down his last video, yeah. So he's appearing yeah. in the thumbnail, regardless of what the topic is. So. Again, it sets that expectation. This is a video for Johnny Harris. He's going to appear in it. Um, and then this subtle technique I learned from a really great Vox video. I don't know if you, you care to show it, but there's a, a really fantastic Vox video. Sure, let's get it up now. Just type in Vox and then um, like markings in the Sahara. I already sent you this video. We've already spoken about it before. Yep. This one, who made these circles in the Sahara? So in my opinion, this is the best history video on YouTube, in my opinion. Wow. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic video. You can see people agree with me, 7 million views. Mm. This guy did not appear in the thumbnail. He appears throughout the whole video. He didn't appear in the thumbnail, but in that introduction, you see him typing, you see him talking to guests. Mm -hmm. By the time he's sat down and appears on camera after like a minute or two, after the video, you've already know that this guy is taking you on a journey to learn about these things. See his face appear there. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's framing the introduction in a way that sets that expectation. That's, that's really what I think about it. Maybe, maybe I'm overanalyzing this stuff. I don't know that, but this is, that's how I think about it at the minute. 
yeah that's really interesting it's, it's something i've never thought about before um yeah like slowly drip feeding and working your audience up to seeing you if if you're not in your thumbnails um yeah really powerful stuff especially in the educational space uh size of youtube we're not really the we're not the focus of the video are we we are vehicles yeah. for our viewers to learn about the topic that we're talking about um yeah so that's a really interesting and, and effective way of navigating that sort of balance um, yeah 